What is up guys? We are in San Jose right now. We're supporting local businesses and we are going to California Bakehouse in San Jose and apparently it's really good. They were the first ones to create the uh, the pandan waffle. If you guys know what that is. Yeah, we'll, uh, if not, we'll insert a picture right, right here. here. We're literally two minutes, three minutes away. Yeah, about a minute or two away. And we're gonna get like one or two of everything. Personally, me, I love egg tarts. So they got these bomb ass flaky egg tarts. Yeah. Um, and then there's like a savory pork bun I wanna try. Apparently it's super good. There's like a hint of sweetness, but uh, super savory flavored as well. <clears throat> um, and then the ka, I'm butchering it, the ka <laughs> I'll put the name here. <laughs> um, and it has a... <gasps> oh! We can... can we're you, literally stop. right next to the Vietnamese ball! Dude, so there's this drink that I freaking want. I've been craving it this whole time. It's a kumquat drink. So it's made out of sugar cane. But they have this machine and then it like... Oh, there it is. It, um... Boom. You know, I'm just gonna park right here, Dad. Yeah, it does its thing, and it makes the juice. The kumquat drink is the best. If we go in there and if it's open, I'll bring you with me. Let's go. But we're here. <laughs> See you guys later. We got so much food. And now we're gonna go see if the Vietnamese mall is open. Please, 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 please. Come quad drink, come quad drink. <laughs> so if you guys don't know what the Vietnamese mall is, it's called Grand Century. And the sugar cane place is open. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Yelp says it was open, but they're all closed. Except for the stores in here. <laughs> the stores are actually open in here. Not all Some of them. Of them. Some of them. <laughs> the craving is still real. We'll see when I can get it. <laughs> One of these days. One of these days. Oh, okay, bye. Bye. So we're finally trying the pastries the next day. <laughs> so hopefully it's still good. And this is the California Bakehouse. Granted, it's probably not going to taste as good as it would normally taste it if we got it the same day, but we were just too full the other day. So I can see how, if we tried it yesterday, this would taste really good. In terms of like a savory sandwich. It's still good to me. It's not clean. I think you're just biased because you really like shredded pork. Mm -hmm. I wish they had, they put more shredded pork though. Oh shit, yeah, it's still cold on the inside. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Mm. Very nice. Oh, what is that? Yeah, I just had that yellow stuff. Mmm, I think that was the mayo. Oh, the mayo? It's like the house mayo. Mmm. Mmm. Not bad. Okay, so here we have the durian chew, the black sesame chew, and then the, uh, I'm guessing the pandan chew. And then I think this one's the banana mochi cake, so it's the regular mochi cake. Mochi. Alright, which one do you want to go for next? One of these. One of the chews? Durian? <laughs> sure. We're trying to get that one. out of the way. Yeah, get that out of the way, right? We had the durian egg tart. He didn't like it. It's not that I didn't like it. It's just I wasn't expecting it to have so much durian in it. They perfected the durian taste. <laughs> 
because it was super dirty and mean. Is that a word? <laughs> Is that even a word? Nope. Mm -hmm. All right, cheers. I think you like this one. I like it. Cheers. Cheers. Dirty and chew if you can see the creaminess. Wow, I really like this one. This is really good. <sighs> Let's try the original cake. The mochi cake. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. I love mochi. All right, cheers. Original mochi cake. We're just going through these. I had to burp, but. Mmm. Yeah. It's like a nice cassava cake. Is it good? What's next? I don't know, you choose this one. I chose the mochi. This one. Alright. So big. Yeah, I know. You want to just like cut a little bit of it? Uh -huh. Okay. Ha <laughs> Yeah, we'll just half of them. Oh, half of them, but yeah. What is it called though? Like a honeycomb pandan thing. If I remember correctly, it was bamboo. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Too. Yep. So this is what my mom used to make when we were little because she had a lot of Vietnamese friends as her co-workers. Mm. And then they would always exchange recipes. Okay, you pick. I want to do the banana one. I want to taste it. Banana multi cake! Uh. Yes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> This one's ooey and green. Yeah. What is it? This is bomb. I like a mountain banana bread. Wow. Mm -hmm. Panda. Panda right now? Look at it. You want to look at that? No. Alright, cool. It's like oozing green stuff. Oh! oh. <laughs> Look at that beauty! The beauty? God! Oh, you're spilling. Ah. <laughs> Alright, beauty in that booty. Cheers! <laughs> I didn't try the any time yesterday because I couldn't wait. Do you want to try it now? Then, before this one? Or this one first? Alright, I'll wait till the finish out. We'll, we'll take our time. Last but not least, you only want a little bit of. Yeah. Promise? I'll just have a bite. So, this is one of my favorite things ever. <laughs> Egg, Egg tarts. tarts. <laughs> Alright, here, you take your bite first and then. We are in different clothes because I lost the files that we recorded. Um. Once again, lost the files. But, um,. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna re-record the ratings, and the first one was the pork shredded pork shredded pork one. Yeah. If you didn't watch the first video, five is the highest and one being the lowest, and you count down from three. So you go like three, two, one, then you give your rating at the same time. At the same time. Okay. I right, that so, shredded pork. Three, two, one, two. Three. And then we explain it after. So I did three because um, I wanted more shredded pork in there. When we cut it in half, I had the side where there was like less shredded pork. Yeah, I don't really like shredded pork that much. <laughs> um, but the bread was nice. It was too much bread though. Dude, I love buns. Yeah, I like the other bun. It was sweet. And the next one we had was the durian chew. So the chew is uh, kind of like one of their popular, uh, I'd say, pastries. And it has like different fillings like black sesame, uh, pandan, which is, we'll, we'll rate later. But uh, we specifically had the durian one. And uh, we'll give our rating first before we explain. Three, two, one, five. five. It was really good. It was probably the best one out of all the pastries that we ate. Yeah. Including the 
savory ones. Yeah, yeah, that was a really, really good one. That was probably oh, darn! We should have rated the first first thing they had. I totally forgot about the green it. waffle. No, no. Oh, I forgot about that too. <laughs> I was gonna say that the durian egg tart. Oh, that too. Okay, so we'll do that in these next ones. But yeah, the uh, that durian chew. Um, it's not on the menu online. Um, oh, I think it's just no. It's like a spread, like you, they only advertise the black sesame and the uh, the pandan one. Mm -hmm. But I think it's like like a special thing they're trying to. Well, we should put it on the menu. Put it on California Bakehouse. Let's do the pandan waffle. Pandan waffle? We didn't show it in this video. We'll try. I, I, I might have lost that footage too. <laughs> okay, pandan waffle. Three, three two, two, one, four. Three. For me, so that was my first time ever having it. I think what made it a three rather than something that was higher was because like we had it when it was soggy, soggy already. Um, they gave it to us warm though. Don't get me wrong. Like they gave it to you warm and like still like kind of waffly and crispy. Yeah. But um, we decided to wait till we got home to try it out rather than like eating it right away. So mm -hmm. I'm sure it would have tasted like a lot better and like the texture would have been a lot nicer. But. It was just so like soggy and cold and I was like I don't mind it being soggy or cold. I mean I I used to eat it when I was little. So she's biased. You see? <laughs> she's got a bias. <laughs> so um apparently that bakery was known for being in Grand Century, the Vietnamese mall. Yeah. And I used to eat it there. So I kinda remember what it tastes like. So I was just putting two and two together. Previously called Century Bakery. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Um, but I do want it to be crunchy. The taste was still there. Mm, that's all I have to say. That's all she has to say. <laughs> cool. Um, let's do the uh, the durian egg tart. Three, Three two, two, one, four. Two <laughs> I really, I really liked it. So, yeah, the reason why I rated the durian chew a 5 and then the durian egg tart a 2.5 was because, like, the durian egg tart just had too much of the texture of durian. Like, I really liked the flavor, but I wasn't expecting, like, pieces of durian to be in the uh, egg tart. I was expecting it to be kind of custardy still and, like, smooth, kind of like how the filling in the durian chew was. It was a bit overwhelming, but I really like durian. It's just... Since it was so unexpected, that first initial reaction made me do a 2.5. Thinking back, I'd probably give it like a 3.5 because I just do like durian, but mm -hmm. um, we're going off of initial reactions when we first had it. 2.5. Uh, I usually don't like egg tarts. He's the one that. I love egg tarts. <laughs> I just take a bite, usually just the egg part. I take a bite. <laughs> yeah. Like the first day we, since we got like four of them, I gave her one, and then she literally told me to take a bite first and I was like, oh wow, you're so nice, you're gonna let me eat it first? So I took a bite and then when she took a bite, instead of eating the crust along with it, she took a bite where I already had a bite and she just got like most of the filling. <laughs> Best part. Um, but yeah, I usually don't like egg tarts, um, but because I like durian, it was actually really good. But the chew was... Oh better. yeah, the durian chew, hands down, my favorite one there. Yeah. Um, the next thing we had was their take on a pandan bonbo, but it was like a honeycomb type. So like, if you've seen honeycomb where it's like crisscross and like kind of like, it's like a lattice type structure. There you go, lattice. Mm. Three, two, two one, one, three. three. <laughs> I was gonna say I was gonna say two point five, and then I was like three. <laughs> but you said three. <laughs> Her Filipino did. came out. <laughs> I want the tree. Um, but I say three because I mean that also brought back nostalgia for me. So my mom used to make it when we were little too because she had like a lot of Vietnamese coworkers, and then she would mix. Filipino and Vietnamese cuisine together. I don't know which ones, but... But they were mixed. They were mixed. 
Why is it three? Oh, it was just average for me. The original mochi cake. I think this one was their take on like bondo also, but they also made it crispy on the outside, kind of thing like really flaky on the outside, but it still had the mochi texture for like most of the body. It's just the top part was like crispy, a little bit caramelized. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, three point five. I liked it. I just really liked it. I love mochi. I love caramel. I love crispy things. But it wasn't like bomb bomb. I think it's because like it was like a lot of chewing for me. It made us really thirsty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it did. That. But it was really good though. So. It was really good. But I think I liked the other one better, which was oh the second mochi cake we had was a banana nut mochi cake. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. Five. 4 .5. It was really good. But um, that one comes second for me after the Durian Durian Yeah, I really, I really, really liked it. Because um, I like banana nut bread and they just mixed like mochi and banana nut bread basically. And but it was nice and moist. Next was the braised barbecue pork bun. <laughs> Three, two, one, four, four five. It was really good. It was so good. But like towards the end, it was the bun was like getting too sweet for me. But other than that, the pork was like hella good. Yeah, I thought it was like the perfect balance between sweet and savory. Mm. But the only reason why I gave it four point five was it could use a little bit more of the pork filling because I really really like like braised pork or like barbecue pork buns in general mm -hmm. like whatever kind of barbecue pork buns like steamed, baked, fried yeah. you name it you name it! <laughs> but yeah, definitely more pork and then it would have been a 5 for mm -hmm. sure so the next one we have is the black sesame chew oh. so just like the durian chew like the outer is still like baked and covered with like almond flour I think they said almond crumbs almond crumbs kind of like, just to give it like this kind of like Flaky, crispy, buttery, flaky, crispy crust. What? Baked on a buttery, uh, crispy crust. Damn! Flaky! I thought I said flaky. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> buttery, flaky, crispy crust. I don't know if that's the exact order, but. Okay. Three, Three two, two, one, one. Three. You really liked it now? No, I not really liked it. It just wasn't. Ah, uh, okay, wait. Let's... <laughs> Two. Sorry. <laughs> I personally don't like a lot of black sesame. Uh, I mean, like, it's okay, like, in hints for me with, like, sweet stuff, but, like, this one was, like, a big blob of black sesame inside. Mm -hmm. I mean, granted, there are, there are people that may like that, but just for me, I didn't really like it. But if you like it, you'll probably like it, because. It's a lot of black sesame flavor. A lot. Right. I mean, I usually like black sesame. That's the reason why we got it. Yeah, like black sesame ice cream. Yeah, like the sesame balls. From the like sesame the balls. Dim sum places. Those are really good too. Yeah, like but sometimes it'll have red bean in them, but other times they'll be like black sesame. Um, and those were the kind of flavors that I was looking for. This one was just, I guess, too overwhelming. Oh yeah, egg tart time. Oh, oh. Kaya chew. Kaya. Kaya. <laughs> so the, the. Oh yeah, the pandan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the next uh, chew that we, the last chew that we had was a pandan chew, but they call it kaya chew. So like the kaya part is like the green filling part, so it's a like a pandan custard kind of thing. Um, yeah. And the reason why we said. Kaya! Kaya! Because I have a niece named Kaya and it was just weird because it's like named Kaya. Yeah. Spell, but it's just spelled differently. Spelled differently but phonetically the same. Yeah. Okay. 3, 2, 1, 3.5. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> I feel like uh, the pandan, the custard, and the bread and the almond flavoring, like it was a little too sweet. 
but it's still like really good. So all y'all out there who really like sweet things, you'll like that one for sure. Last, certainly not the least, Portuguese egg tart. <laughs> and three, okay, two, two, one, five. Two. I don't, <laughs> um, so I don't really like egg tart. I'm usually not the best person to give a review for that. Well, um, I think also we're both very biased yeah. in that she's, her bias is she hates it. <laughs> or doesn't like it, not hates it. But yeah. my bias is I love it. Because, I don't know, just that balance of crispy, buttery, flaky, and creamy, sweet, slightly salty egg custard. <laughs> Overall. Yeah. Overall. Overall rating for California Bakehouse. Three, two, one, four. Four point five. The only reason why I don't give it a five is because like I I'd want to be able to like sit there and experience the entirety of it. So I'm sure once I do that might, that will probably go up to a five. But they were definitely like super nice. They got the order really fast. It's probably hard for them right now just because like they're yeah. only open certain hours rather than their normal hours because of this whole. Uh, Corona, yeah, COVID pandemic thing. Um, so if you can, support your local businesses. If you guys see this, place is located in uh, Eastside San Jose off of Story Road in uh, Little Saigon area near that um, like uh, strip mall area kind of thing. Um, but yeah, should be super, super good. You guys should definitely try it. Uh, yeah, should definitely the recommend it. I'll put it in the description box down below. Um, I forgot to mention, for, was it the mochi or the cho that that was gluten free? Oh, so uh, it's actually the mochi cakes, the one that we mentioned, the original and the banana nut. They mm -hmm. offer it in cassava. Yeah. They offer that one in cassava, and the cassava itself is like, well, like when they use that, it is both uh, dairy free and gluten free. Yeah. Or so they say um, in the description on the website. So Jaime, if you're watching this, you should go there! Hours are right now, they're open uh, every Saturday, Sunday, 12 to 4 p.m. Mm. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these like food vlogs, let us know in the comments. Feel free to uh, drop some uh, suggestions on next food places we should try here in the uh, Bay Area. Because mm -hmm. um, we're always down to try new foods, we're foodies. Yeah. Um, Follow our Instagram. CJ Food Diaries. Till the next time. We're C and J. Thank <sighs> you.